635. Now we're over to Mike Apple at 680. Uh, we continue to talk about the price for oil. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Melanie. We've seen a break of the pumps here in the GTA most recently, but that could be short-lived because the global prices for oil this morning are starting the week at a multi-year high out of the UK. Brent North Sea crude north of 80, the U.S. benchmark at around 72. As uh, OPEC made no changes to production quotas at a meeting and the demand and supply balance still is in the demand uh, favor and that's got prices pumped up a little bit this morning. So we'll track that through the week here in the GTA for what we're paying at the pumps. Tough talk on trade meantime. Those uh, tariffs threatened between the U.S. and China went into effect today. A 10 percent tariff on about $200 billion worth of exports out of China and uh, reciprocal tariffs on $60 billion worth of U.S. exports. And uh, China saying no trade talks planned until U.S. President Donald Trump backs down on this whole idea of ratcheting things up even further. So world markets starting the week to the downside. Having said that, the Dow on Friday hit a record high and was up for the eighth time in nine trading days. So actually stocks have been fairly resilient. Huge swings for the pot stocks. We're watching shares of BC-based Tilray starting this morning at $110 per share. On Wednesday last week, the stock of Tilray hit $300. So a massive move here for all of the uh, companies in this sector. Major volatility, more expected this week. David's Tea on Friday spiked by 100% out of Montreal and then quickly reversed as David's Tea denied speculation that it could be getting into the drinkable or beverage market for marijuana or cannabis-based products. Mega merger in the gold industry to start the week. Barrick Gold buying Africa-based or Africa-focused Rand Gold. It's based out of the UK. Six billion dollars on this one as Barrick looks to retain the title of being the world's largest gold producer. And some interesting speculation for merger talk this morning in the fashion industry. Michael Kors Holdings in talks, advanced talks, to buy the House of Versace of Italy for upwards of two billion dollars. That deal could be announced as early as this week. Uh, Michael Kors has been on an acquisition trend. Just last year, it bought Jimmy Choo Shoes for $1.2 billion. So it's got some cash to spend. And Roger, you're all about the Versace and the Jimmy Choo and the uh, I, Michael Kors handbags, right? I'm not going to lie. At one point, I thought it was Versace. Well, I know. That's, that's how up right, on but, fashion yeah. I am. <laughs> yes, I know it's Versace now. That's a, that's a big buy, though. It sure it certainly is. It's uh, you know an historic and uh, such a well-known brand, but uh, very expensive uh, items as well.